Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, Paula Ortiz is known in Spain for breaking the barrier for female filmmakers. Early in her career, she directed the award-winning From Your Window to Mine. And now Paula's groundbreaking film, The Bride, is the headliner for this year's recent Spanish cinema film series, which brings over Goya-winning films from Spain to the U.S. Up next, we find out what makes Paula such a unique filmmaker right here on American Latino TV. My name is Paula Ortiz, and I'm screenwriter, director, and also teacher. I've been reading Federico García Lorca since I'm eight years old, 15 years old. I mean, first time I read Blood Wedding, I was 14 years old. And I remember very well the overwhelming feeling with those words and with those poetry and those images. Tú sabes a lo que vengo. Mi hijo tiene y puede. Mi hija también. The whole Lorca's universe is a very specific one, full of symbols and magic and, and at the same time very, very realistic portraits of female Spanish women. Everybody in Spain, I don't know how to do, to say that, but is a little bit scared to adapt classic literature, stage plays, and also novels. I mean, it's like sacred tre treasures. Lo que siento es que las tierras estén separadas. Si pudiéramos con 20 pares de bueyes traer tus viñas aquí y ponerlas en la ladera, oh, qué alegría. The Bride, it's a very simple story about a girl who is going to get married with, his, with her groom, but he, she really loves her old love, Leonardo. And after the wedding, eh, she ran away with him. And then starts the tragedy. Sed felices. Por los que están, it's a story about love and desire and pain and death and how that huge strengths are pulling us in our life. Right now, I think it's a very, very specific moment to, to take Lorca and try to tell his work again. Te voy a 40 años seguidos. Many people discover Lorca again through La Novia, and it has been a, a great, a great feeling for us to, 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 to see that. I don't like, and I think many other female filmmakers or screenwriters, we don't like when. People used female as just uh, another tag that is uh, putting you in another box, in a small box, only female movies. If the market do that, then it's a tricky and it's a problematic thing. But at the same time, we need to, 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 to tell stories about women because the history of the movies is a, is a male perspective. <laughs> I think that we have to try to tell as much stories as we can, and meaningful stories, and beautiful stories, and intense stories, and brave stories. I mean, good and bad stories, but brave ones. <laughs> 